Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect, and I'm proud to announce the release of my latest workshop, Precise Modeling for Architecture, Engineering, and 3D Printing. In this workshop, I'll be using Blender 4.2 to explain all of the steps, everything that you need to know to create 3D objects with full precise control over dimensions, lengths, and angles we'll be using blender as if it was a cat tool this is one of the exercises that i'll be developing in uh, the workshop it's a mechanical modeling exercise and since our focus is with uh, precise modeling i'll be using lots of schematics like this one here let me open another object and this is uh, an architectural design this is the one of the drawings. This is another reference drawing. I'll be explaining how to set up this project using either the metric and uh, imperial uh, units, um, using either imperial or metric uh, units. And it's a mix in this particular project here. It's a mix of uh, traditional modeling tools in Blender, add-ons and uh, geometry nodes. About add-ons, I'll be using lots of different add-ons uh, during uh, the workshop. All of the add-ons that I'll be using are from the Blender official uh, extensions repository, so you don't need to make any external uh, downloads. Uh, you might be asking yourself, isn't uh, Precise Modeling for Architecture, Engineering and 3D Printing the title uh, for one of my books? Yes, you are correct. It's this book right here. It came out in February in both English and French. And I used this book as a guide to create the workshop. You can easily say that at this workshop, it's the video version of, uh, of, this, of this book. And since it came out in February, I, uh, I used some of the feedback that I got from readers uh, to make changes to the workshop content, like adding more mechanical modeling exercises. And about the workshop content, let me give you an overview. I will bring the folder with the workshop content. It's a four thing lesson workshop. Let me open one of the, one of the folders. Uh, inside each one of the folders, you will find an MP4 file with the video content, an SRT with closed captions in English, and a transcript uh, as a plain text file if you wanna keep track of everything that I speak, everything that I uh, mention in uh, each one of the videos. Uh, you, won't, uh, you will also have uh, an option to download the workshop as a, as a zip file. Depending on the place that you get the workshop, it's an 8.2 gigabyte total, uh, uh, total download size. It's a really big uh, download. Why so big? Because I use it 4K to record everything uh, here related to the workshop. So all of the videos, they are in uh, 4K. I took really good care on making sure that I was using the screencast keys add-on so you can keep track of all of the key presses, all of the mouse interactions uh, that I, I do here on the workshop for each one of the videos. Besides getting the content uh, from uh, each one of the lessons, you also have access to uh, the project files. Those are the Blender files saved for each one of the lessons and the reference drawings to follow each one of the examples. This is from lesson uh, 13. What is the total runtime for the workshop? Let me bring the statistics it's uh, the statistics file it's a nine hours and 45 minutes workshop it's a lot of content almost 10 hours of content so you have a lots uh, and lots of different examples on how to use blender to create 3d objects with full uh, precise control over dimensions lengths and angles uh, another uh, common question that you might be getting right now, uh, can I join the workshop as a beginner? Yes, uh, you are welcome to join because uh, lessons one to three, it's a general introduction to Blender. So I will uh, start from the, uh, from the beginning of Blender. As you can see, lesson one, it's getting started with Blender. So I'll be explaining the interface, uh, shortcuts, how to start using Blender. If you don't have any previous experience, don't worry. Uh, from uh, lessons one to three, I'll be explaining all of the steps to get started with, uh, with Blender. And uh, as always, uh, 
if you get the workshop, you will be supporting my work here in Blender 3D Architect. Uh, are you ready to start learning and using Blender? to uh, create 3D objects with full precise control, I see you in lesson one.